All right, hey everybody, I'm back again. Now, I seem to get a fairly decent view count in my last video, so I figured I'd keep going with my preps that I currently have in my college apartment. Now, a lot of questions that I get occasionally um, involve, you know, in a small dorm or a small apartment, how do you have the space to store all this stuff? So, I usually respond in, you know, you gotta get creative. You gotta find a spot to put your stuff in. So back in my last dorm, um, I put it on the ground in my closet in a box behind it and underneath all my clothes. And it was sort of out of sight, out of mind, but I could still put stuff in if I wanted. Now it wasn't that much, but it was enough for, started with three days supply of food and water, then I moved up to a week and then two weeks. So, and it, the thing is it wasn't stuff that I just kept back there, it was stuff that I used. So, but then I did, when I used it, I would always rotate it. So I always made sure that I was stocked. And now that I'm in my apartment, I have it in a cabinet that also serves as my TV stand. Please don't copyright strike me, Disney. So, we're going to get into the cabinet. And um, it used to have a lock on it and a top right here. But I lost the key, so I had to unscrew the top off. So, it is what it is. So now that I'm actually in here... You'll see there's a top, a middle, and a bottom. Um, there's not really, on the middle shelf, there are a couple of hand tools, um, just some hammers, screwdrivers, and bits. Nothing special, I use them every now and then. Um, this one actually came with my mattress. On top, um, it's mostly, you know, like stuff that I use for the apartment, so like toiletries, got some floor sliders right there for furniture. Um, and I have a couple of other things back here. I got a steamer, um, I got some hand cherry pie filling, which I also use this cabinet just to like sort of keep stuff out of sight, out of mind. So like this in that box is a bunch of Valentine's Day chocolate from the family. So I keep it out of sight, out of mind. Um, I got some fit fruit wash to keep pesticides and whatnot off my fruit. Um, I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I like it. And uh, my mom gave it to me, so. Got some mouthwash, uh, Rite Aid brand because it's cheap and it does just as good of a job as Listerine. Um, it is important to keep your teeth fresh in a grid down scenario um, where you might not have access to water um, or other toothpaste or whatnot. So this is quick and easy. Um, but I also just use it day to day. Um, and in this box I have some air fresheners. I have some lens wipes because I wear glasses. Um, I have a steamer back there for my clothes. I've got a box or two of tissues, and then in the box I have hand warmers. So hand warmers could be used for prepping purposes. So now we get into the bottom, which is actually the prepping section. So I've got a couple things in here, and I'm just going to go through them one by one. Alright, so as I said, I also just put stuff in here so it's out of sight, out of mind. And that is the case with these things here. This is, I'm going to move this real quick, and we'll talk about it in a sec. So this is kick 2 This is caffeinated water. One bottle of these has as much caffeine as there is in a cup of coffee. Just under 100 milligrams of caffeine for 16.9 fluid ounces of water. And it's hydrating, and you can take it on the go. I usually leave a bottle of this in my backpack. Um, it's really energizing. I've actually made coffee with this once, so that was incredible. Um, don't recommend doing that all the time, because... Your heart make it up. But so I use the, I drink this as needed. I don't drink it every day. Um, and then you also see that I have some things like a couple cans of Coke and chocolate in there. Um, again, that's just out of sight, out of mind. It does help. Um, but I will count this into my total what into my water total. So then going on with water, we've got Big Win Rite Aid brand water, 25 half liter, 24 half liter bottles. So that's about 12 quarts right there, which is about three gallons. Um, and I've got another gallon of distilled water right here, um, which is primarily for the steamer that I have up there for my clothes, because you don't really want to use regular water when you're putting it in a steamer or an iron. But um, you could drink that again. So that's four days worth of water right there. And then like this case here is 12 one quart bottles which is math never mind 
12 half quart bottles. So, 12 half quart bottles, six quarts, gallon and a half of water. So, we got a gallon and a half right here, gallon there, three gallons there. And so, when you use math, that's five and a half gallons, which is, and then you got these, so let's round it up to six gallons. That's about six days worth of water, and then I do have some water bottle bottles and other stuff in the fridge. So all together, I do have about seven weeks of water in the apartment. Um, the big wind water is great because you can get two cases of it for five bucks at Rite and it tastes fine. It's like very little water. Um, I try not to break into it, but sometimes I do. So now going on to food, um, I'll just grab what I pulled out. So I've got some Mountain House in here. This is Mountain House Chili Mac with beef. I haven't tried it yet. I am planning on trying this soon, just to figure out if I liked it. I did have the breakfast scramble. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of that. I got two other Mountain House things here. These I know I do like. These are both granola with milk and blueberries. I do like this. You don't even actually have to put water in it in order to eat it. You can just eat it right out of the pack. Um, it's got a fair amount of calories in it. Um, it's got some carbs. got a lot of carbs. Got some protein, some fat. So, And it, it tastes good because if you don't, if the food doesn't taste good, then you're not going to want to eat it. And chili mac with beef. Um, it has... Fair amount of calories, fair amount of fat, sodium, which is important because you're going to be, you know, losing electrolytes and getting dehydrated. Um, a lot of carbs, better, more protein than the other stuff. So that's good right there. Um, and then my other food sources are old-fashioned oats. I think this was $2.99 for this whole thing of it. And then just natural peanut butter. Now, just natural does not last quite as long as its regular counterpart, the red jar and blue jar. But I would think it tastes a little bit better. So now there are 34 servings in here with 190 calories per serving. And you got a lot of good fats and of a good amount of protein. So just to make math easier, we'll just say 30 times 200. So that's 6,000 calories in here. So that's three days worth of food for a 2,000 calorie diet. So that's pretty awesome. And oats have 80. They're pretty calorie dense, just like peanut butter. And then you also got a lot of carbs, some protein, not too much fat. So you're getting a lot of your macros in. So then we got 30 servings, 150 calories. So then that makes 4,500 calories. So it's 10,500 calories, roughly, between these two, which is five days if you eat 2,000 calories a day. But if you're staying sedentary, um, which you probably will be doing in a grid down scenario, then you can make this food last a little longer. Then you've also got two and a half servings, 230 calories. So we'll say at least 500 there. And then two servings to 250 calories, two of these. So then you've got another 1500 calories here. So that's 12,000 calories. So yeah, so that's six days if you eat the 2000 a day. But that is not counting everything that I had in my pantry and in my refrigerator. And most of what I have in my pantry is non-perishables. You can see more oats, you see some Uncle Ben's rice, some Cheerios, some pasta, uh, some canned food, some more peanut butter and coffee up there. So a lot of what I have is a bunch of non-perishables. So that will also last a long, long time. And then we've got a couple of small little trash bags. Um, I also do accumulate um, like grocery bags, like plate paper and plastic ones, which are going to be served in the same use. So these can't just be used for trash, they can be used for waterproofing stuff, tape them over windows and doors to seal out bad air. Um, insulation, you use it to store food and water in, collect water. So you can use these for a lot of things. There are smaller ones, I do have bigger ones just stored, but that's just what I have in there. Um, got a pressure bandage. Um, that I got for Christmas from my folks. Um, it is not the exact Israeli dressing. Um, this is made in China. Um, I tried finding it online, I couldn't really find it. But I figured that it is better than nothing and it was free so it didn't cost me anything. So that's pretty great. Then I'm not gonna quite get into that yet. You can see the water. Let's see if I can pull this out here without. All right, that's fine. 
This is just a little drawstring bag that I've got with other sort of loose prepping stuff in here. Got some UST wet fire, so you can put this stuff in a cup of water and light on fire and it'll light. I have used this before, it's awesome. Um, petroleum jelly, which is also great for fire starting. You can probably even just stick a wick in that and use it as a candle. Um, a candle right there. Headlamp. Um, stormproof matches in the Altoids tin, and then the Altoids tin I have cotton balls and Vaseline. Again, all for fire. What's this? I've got a pair of gloves. Tough work gloves. Um, just keep your hands warm and protected. Some rope, 100 feet of clothesline, so you can always use warp rope. Cordage is one of the 10 seasons of survival. I've got some masks, um, dust masks. Um, with that whole coronavirus stuff coming out, it may help, uh, probably not too much. But it's better than nothing. The Nobody is infected in my city. But you can never be too careful. We got just some loose cotton balls and some lighters and waterproof plastic bag. We got another little bag of lighters right here. Got a couple of them. I have tested them all to do work. Um, a lot of stuff I got from my grandpa, who was also a prepper back in the day. Um, he had a bit more stuff than I did. Got some miscellaneous zip ties. Uh, another candle. Make sure that all this stuff is allowed in your lease, guys. Like, um, in your dorm or your lease. Like, some dorms or apartments might not allow candles, so just keep that in mind. Got a little hank of paracord. More cordage. And more big candles. These are taller ones. They might last a little longer. Um, oh, and some big, big tweezers. Tweezers are good. Splinters and whatnot. And more candles. Another bag of them. And the bag is now empty. Yep, yeah, it's empty. So now I will be... And then the only other thing left in here is my bug out bag, survival kit, whatever you want to call it. It's very condensed from my last video, because, um, you know, going away to college. My dorm room last year was tiny. My apartment this year is just so much bigger. Um, I have so much more space, but I still want to keep it condensed. Um, I will get into that in another video. But yeah, so this is where I keep my survival kit, is with my other prepping stuff, in what I call my prepping and storage cabinet. But yeah, so that's my storage cabinet that I also use as a TV stand. Um, that's the prepping stuff that I got in there, and then also just regular day-to-day -day apartment necessities. Um, it's also, again, an outside out of my cabinet, so if you got something like soda or chocolate or candy or any, or uh, cherry pie filling, you know, anything that you don't want to eat right away, the concept of out of sight, out of mind, really is effective for not snacking, not eating desserts. If you're, like, just trying to eat healthier, you're trying to diet or lose weight, it is better to keep that stuff out of your house, but I do understand wanting to keep that stuff in for sheet days or when you just want to treat yourself. So, uh, yeah, so that's everything in the cabinet. Um, I'm going to get back to watching Star Wars. Force Awakens is on now. All right. This is the Rugged Professional signing off. Stay sharp. Something I forgot about. I've got some MRE leftovers. This isn't the whole one. Um, these are just leftovers from ones that I've accumulated. Over past probably two years. Got heater, beverage bag, Star Wars is still in the background, don't copyright strike me. There goes one of the bags. Another heater, two of these goodie bags have some toilet paper, beverage powder, moist towel wet. I think some of them have caught yet. Coffee, gum, uh, yeah, got peanut butter, I've got some trail mix, recovery. So it's good, got um, nuts and stuff, raisins, sure looks good, high calorie stuff. And then I've got two things of chocolate protein powder, beverage powder, and then another thing of milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. So, no entrees in here. Um, there are, is at least one MRE in my bug out bag that I will be showing you guys eventually. Um, but until then, yeah, I got some stuff like this. All right. You guys have a good one.